This is the sunflower stamp from IOD. It has some awesome sunflowers in different sizes. The one we're gonna use today is the really big one. So you can see it's like twice the size of this one. It has some leaves. And I actually just cut this one out with the backing on it. I cut it out of here. And now I don't ever have to remount this one because it is so big. I might do that with these two. We're also gonna be using the IOD ink pad and the IOD black ink. We're going to stamp the sunflower onto this t-shirt. This ink is permanent, so you can wash it. You're gonna seal it in after you do it and you can wash it and it will not come off. So what I did is I put a piece of plastic foaming plastic underneath this t-shirt so it wouldn't run through to the back side. You can put cardboard under there, whatever you have for a barrier so that it doesn't run through. This is just a Walmart t-shirt, time and true, and I have an order for it, so I thought I'd teach you on here how that I make my sunflower 4th of July t-shirt. So here's, it's a V-neck, so this is the center. And since I cut it out, I have the IOD stamp on here, so I know that's the top. And it's gonna go on here about right here. And we're gonna ink it up. I'm going to make sure that I don't get the ink on the t-shirt, so I put a piece of cardboard here and we're going to go ahead and ink up this stamp using the IOD ink pad in black ink. You could definitely use any color ink, maybe blue, that would be pretty, that china blue, or even the stone gray is an awesome color for stamping. So we're gonna get that all stamped up Remove the cardboard, flip the stamp over, and place it down. Now you don't wanna wiggle this. You wanna make sure you're using some even pressure on this t-shirt and pushing it into the fabric. There it is. Now you're gonna to wanna to let that dry for a while. While that one dried and it's gonna be after 4th of July, I decided to make another sunflower t-shirt with multiple sunflowers using the same stamp and also the masking tool to make a cluster of sunflowers on another shirt. I'm going to be painting the yellow sunflowers first. This is what I used. I mixed the colors together to get the ones that I wanted, mixing them with the DIY liquid patina, which will make them adhere to your t-shirt and go through your washing machine. So mix it with the liquid patina and it will heat set and be on your shirt forever. I went ahead and mixed up a couple colors to make the brown, um, used the green. I'm using a lot of making powders, mixing them with the liquid patina as well. You spray the shirt with a mister bottle as well. That makes the paint flow a little bit better or you can make your paint more like a watercolor, which will help it to flow onto the fabric also. So DIY paint, liquid patina, and a little water. Here's a tip I have. Find an old plate, some press in here. Cover your plate and you have a paint palette that you can just throw it away. For this one, you're gonna need red, white, and blue. We have the DIY marquee. We have 
Hey sailor. And we're gonna wait for the white for a little bit. We need some DIY liquid patina. This is a sealer, it's a decoupage, and it also works perfect for using with your paint to make it stay longer in your fabric. So for the sunflower, that's going to be red, white, and blue. The center is going to be blue. So we're gonna go ahead and take some of the Hay Sailor and mix it into the liquid patina. Liquid patina is not gonna change the color at all. It's just going to make it more like, it has a built-in top coat. And then it's going to not wash out of your fabric when you wash it. So put as much of that liquid patina in as you feel. I don't really have any specifics for that. I just go ahead and put some in. I don't want this one to fade a whole lot and smear, so I'm getting my fabric, fabric wet along with my paint, just a spray bottle. And now I'm gonna go in and just lightly, needs to be a little bit more watercolory. So that it glides onto that fabric really easy. This is the center of that sunflower and it's going to be the blue part of the flag. Just like that, you don't even have to be an artist. It's doing, the stamp is doing the job for you. Now this sunflower, all of these petals are going to be red and white striped. I'm gonna take a flat paintbrush and I'm gonna mix this red in with the liquid patina. Just gonna slowly drag it into the red. And I need it a little bit watercolory. Along with my shirt. And now you're going to make some stripes on your sunflower. You don't have to be real perfect with it. It's going to uh, be the look of a flag. So now we're gonna go right here. And make another stripe going right across. Wherever there is no sunflower, don't drag across that area. You wanna pick your brush up and finish wherever the sunflower extends. You can see how I did that right there. So now I'm gonna do this whole t-shirt and I will have you watch my process of doing the stripes. If you want it to bleed a little bit more, like it's bleeding some. If you want it to bleed a little bit more, you can add more water as you're painting.
Now we're gonna put some small splatter around the sunflower. And to do that, you mix it with a lot of water. You want the paint to be nice and runny. To splatter paint, you just put it on your paint palette and you flick it back and it squirts out a small little dots of paint. To clean your paint palette, just peel the plastic wrap right off. You're gonna mix the beadboard in with the liquid patina and with a little bit of water to make it nice and runny. You wanna make sure that your sunflower red paint has thoroughly dried because if it's any way wet, you're gonna get pink. So just make sure that it's completely dry. And then I go ahead and I paint the beadboard over top of the white stripe. And the paint is very thin, so those black stamp marks come through, making it look like you're an artist. finish with the stars. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you try your own painting on a shirt and see how it goes for you, whether you do a yellow sunflower or a red, white, and blue. I've made a number of these and every one looks different. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy painting!